Hey guys, so today I decided to shoot a video for you guys showing you how I take my makeup photos for Instagram. I know that it can be such a struggle, like I've been there. I, it took me a long time to figure out a way that worked for me. And so I just wanted to show you guys all these tips and tricks so that you don't have to struggle like I did. Because when I first started Instagram, I had the worst pictures. I just didn't get it. I didn't know how people were getting such amazing photos. I didn't know how to get my makeup to show up how it looked in person and I was so disappointed all the time because I would spend hours making my makeup perfect and then I would go to take a photo and I'm just like, what the hell? I've gone through my fair share of struggles. One time I was trying to take a selfie and the ring light fell on my head. Selfies can be dangerous and I just want to prevent that for you guys. I want you guys to take safe, safe selfies. Instead of just telling you guys how I take the picture, and post it on Instagram, I'm going to just show you guys exactly what I do from beginning to end, what apps I put them through, and then, you know, just everything. I'm just gonna show you everything. So first off, I'm gonna tell you guys what camera I use. Now, as of a month ago, I switched from taking my makeup photos with an iPhone 5S to using a more professional camera, Sony Nex 6. This camera is seriously like, my baby, I love it, mm, it's so nice. I just love it so much. The pictures come out beautiful. Uh, the flash in most cameras washes everything out, but this camera flash makes you look tan and like bronzy. You can take a makeup photo anywhere with this camera. You don't have to be in good lighting. Uh, what else is good about this camera is that it Bluetooths all your photos to your phone. After I'm done taking my pictures, I Bluetooth them directly to my phone and bam. I can upload them to Instagram. I don't have to have a computer. I don't have to spend time uploading, emailing, whatever. It just Bluetooths directly to your phone. It has a skin softener built into it. So, I mean, you don't want to go crazy with skin softener. I'm telling you, that's a big mistake on makeup photos. It's when it's too soft. Uh, you don't want to soften your makeup or anything. But um, it has a level, so you can go from low to extreme Play-Doh status. I have it on the lowest setting, and it just kind of gives you a smooth veil, so it doesn't mess with your makeup or anything. It just, it's almost like a nicer flash. It is pricey, you guys. It's around $1,200, and it was a big investment for me. Actually, I know my husband's gonna watch this and be like, for you, okay, thank you, baby. I know, you bought it for me. Thank you so much, it was the best gift ever. Steven, I know he's gonna say something, so yes. Steven bought it for me, it was a present, and it's one of the best presents ever. If you have an iPhone, then you can still get a great makeup photo with this. All you have to do is make sure to use this camera. I know it's tempting to use this camera because everything looks better in selfie camera mode. For makeup photos, if you really want good quality, you definitely wanna use this side of the camera. Just a little trick that seems obvious, but it took me a while to actually think, oh, this might make things easier for me, is, holding a hand mirror, you see what you're doing, basically. <laughs> also, it's gonna help you make sure you're in focus. So I like to hold the mirror up and I like to tap on the screen to make sure that I'm in focus, and then I just take the photo. Most of the time when I took them with my iPhone, I use the ring light. And the particular ring light that I use, I think runs for about 100 bucks. It's not super expensive, so I'll put a link to it down below if you guys uh, want to know exactly what ring light it is. So now I'm gonna show you guys what apps I use and the upload process of my photos. So after I take them and they're on my phone, I go to my apps folder. This is Square Ready and it's used to resize photos. This is Lens Light. It's the one that adds like the sparkles that you guys like on Instagram. Then I have Camera Plus and Facetune. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick a photo that I like and I'm going to upload it to Facetune, which is one of my favorite photo apps. So I like Facetune because it gives you the option to pinpoint parts of your face that you would like to smooth out. So if you have like a really crazy pimple that day, you could definitely um, fix it. Or, you know, if you have a scar like I do above my lip, you can smooth it out a little. It also has these filters that you could use and you can adjust the filters, but I'm not going to use one today. I just wanted to show you guys. So now that I finished up in Facetune, sometimes I like to go into Camera Plus and I like to turn up the vibrancy just a bit and you can adjust it here as little or as much as you want. Now I'm putting the photo into Square Ready and this is just going to adjust the size of the photo for Instagram. So in the case that you don't want a perfect square like this, you can adjust it there. 
Now all that's left is the uploading process, and I'm sure you guys all are familiar with this. And yeah, I just share my pictures to Twitter and Facebook, and that's pretty much it. All right, guys, so I hope this video was helpful for you and that you enjoyed these type of videos. I want to do one on my film setup as well, and that'll be more of a behind the scenes, I think. I think that would be kind of fun to film. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you found it helpful. And yeah, tag me in your amazing pictures on Instagram. I would love to see them. I'm always looking for inspiration, so I love when you guys tag me and I love seeing your recreations and that just, ugh, just melts my heart. I love it. Um, yeah, tag me and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Oh, I'm sweating! The irony of it all. Sometimes it's just, I mean, ugh. <laughs> it is with this baby hair. Only you, the pieces in my life run away.